Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the generous landowner. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, sometimes we wonder how we could make our relationship with you more real and vital. We ask that you show us the ways to do that today. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, again, our passage is going to be a little bit lengthy, so we're not going to read it on here. Go to Matthew 20, verses 1 through 16. Read these parables, and then we'll come back and hit the reflection part of this video. So hey guys, how can we reflect on this video or reflect on this passage today? The punchline of, of a parable is a, of the generous owner is a familiar to most people, and so we see in verse 16. You might hear it quoted as a joke when someone cuts out into a line uh, at a church supper. Well, you know the last will be first and the first will be last. But the parable and its point were no joke to Jesus. Through them, he was communicating another important part, point about the kingdom of heaven. What did he have in mind? The parables seem easy to understand at first. Workers are hired at different points throughout the day with the promise of a fair wage at the end of the day. This suspense builds as the early birds participate how much overtime pay that they might collect. But that's where the plot gets complicated. Everyone receives the same amount. Those who work 12 hours were paid the same as those who only worked one. Now we are really confused. Is the landowner fair or is he unfair? Is he a rich oppressor or a heartless communist? But Jesus is using this seemingly un seeming unfairness to make his point. The kingdom of heaven cannot be earned. It is a gift from God, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Instead of calling this the parable of the workers in the vineyard, it might be more accurate to call it the parable of the generous landowner, as we see in verse 15. That's because Jesus is saying our salvation is dependent on God's generosity and not our own good works. That is a tough message for the religious experts of Jesus' day to accept. After all, they had led chosen people. They scrupulously followed all of God's commands and regulations. And if anyone deserved to get into heaven, into the kingdom of heaven, it was them. But religion based on human effort and earning salvation leads away from God and into pride. The truth is, God wants everyone to enjoy the benefits of, of the kingdom. Instead of grumbling about who deserves to be in or out, as we see in verses 11 and 12, the workers would have done better to celebrate with the generous landowner at the end of the day. That's what it will be like in the kingdom of heaven. So how can we apply this to us today? What image best describes your view of Christian faith, a rule book, or a Christmas gift, and why? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we can never repay you for what you did for us on the cross, and for that we are eternally grateful. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.